Fire investigators say a three-alarm fire at an apartment building in Normal this weekend was caused by repair work. At least a dozen people are without a home. Harry Croton talked to a few students who live there about the challenges they are dealing with. Twelve apartments were either heavily damaged or destroyed in Saturday's fire. The residents are mostly students at ISU and in hotels waiting for what's next. But some say the alternatives offered are a huge step down. We had a two-bedroom and, you know, like we pay a decent penny for it and for like our big spaces and it was just like our, our two new rooms put together doesn't even equal the size of one. Angelica Rodriguez and her roommate Kelly were told none of their belongings at Sugar Creek could be saved. They were paying a flat rate which included furniture and utilities. Now they're forced to start from scratch, pay utilities and find furniture, all while paying the same amount for rent. We signed a lease agreement that said, you know, it would come with Wi-Fi provided and things like that, you know, and and for us to still pay the same rent and not have the same things we had is kind of like, you know, why? Like mm -hmm. we should be able to get the same things that we had. The same goes for senior Alex Neff, who says he may just avoid the trouble and spend the last few months of the semester back with mom and dad. This is just like the cherry on top of like my college career, you know, it's like I was really enjoying the last few months and now it's just like cut short. And it's over. Feels like, like I'm trying to find a new like spot to stay in town, but it's just it's been really hard. Some students also say there's a lack of communication on the status of their belongings. The vice president of the company that manages Sugar Creek Apartments say they're doing their best, providing guidance and gift cards. Reporting for 25 News, I'm Harry Croton.